to use Galaxy AI in the Galaxy Z Flip 6, start by opening settings. And as long as you're signed into the Samsung account, we should have the Galaxy AI option. In this one, we see all of the features we have here. And so you just want to tap on each option to turn it on. So we turned on the live translate. And so when you call someone, you're able to have you and the recipient translated into the language of your choice. So if I call a phone number here, we have the call assist option. And when you tap on this, we can use the live translate. And so if the other person is in German, it will translate their German to English. Or if we swap it out. So now what's happening is I've switched it from other person to English. And so it's going to translate it into German for me. And then if I speak Deutschland, blah, 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 then it's going to translate that into English for the other person. So we can exit out of that if we want and we can hang up. We then have the chat assist. So make sure the track, uh, chat translation is turned on. And uh, so how this works, if you're on a messaging app and you activate the keyboard, we have the AI button. Make sure you're in the uh, Samsung keyboard. So tap the AI, you have all these options. So you have translation. So we'll translate the stuff. You can see it's showing the translation there. And then we also have stuff like composer. So you can, you know, write a story about Barna. So that's my story. We'll select generate, see what it comes up with. And so this is a, a story about subscribing to Sauniverse. Uh, you know, no bias there. So the interpreter here, uh, this is a standalone app which uses the AI. So if we search for it and open it up, and we just agree to the permissions. Uh, essentially, this is like Google Translate, but with AI. And so uh, we just need to select the languages. So I'll just select this. And so, you know, if we tap this, hello, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. You can see it translates it. And then it automatically turns on the uh, thingamajiggy here. And then once I stop speaking, it will translate that into English. If you tap the cover screen button, the preview will show in the cover screen. So you could like fold your phone like this. So you can see one translation, the other person on the other side can also see your translation. We then have the note assist. So once this is turned on, so we'll turn this guy on and then we'll open the Samsung notes app and I'll compose something. So we have this AI button and you can see all the options we can do here. But also, if we go to the drawing mode, and we just draw something. You know, I, I didn't do artist class, but if you tap the AI button, so you can see the sketched image option. So we tap OK. It's going to uh, you know, turn my thing into a masterpiece. So I'll just trace around my car. It's a very fast car. And then we'll generate an AI version of this. It seems to think I drew a bicycle, so maybe I need to work on my artist artist skills but yeah you can see <laughs> well it's not what I wanted but I guess that's cool you have the transcript assist so if you record something inside of the voice recorder so if I record stuff hello 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 there we go and I save this one and so what we can do is we can use AI to transcribe the uh, audio so we'll transcribe just like that. We also have a summary, which we can do here as well. It's too short to summarize, but you know you can do that. You can also, you know, translate the uh, language as well. So I'll translate that into German. We then have the browsing assist. So you need to use the Samsung internet for this, but you can summarize web pages, you know, translate stuff. So let's look into that one further. You're on a website and you tap the AI button. You can either summarize or translate. So let's try the summarize here. And so it's just done a summary of what this website is about. We have the photo assist. So if we turn this guy on, so we'll tap OK. And we go to the photos. I'm just going to select a photo here. And we have that AI button again showing up immediately. 
And so if we go to the portrait studio, we can, you know, create maybe a cartoon of myself. Uh, so let's have a look at what it does. Uh, it made me look overweight, but, uh, you know, I guess it is what it is. Okay, let's not do that one. And then we also have uh, the editing. So I can uh, so I can add images by adding from gallery and pull it in this new image. And also we can sketch stuff in. So if I just put a like, I don't know, like a, this is trying to be like a necklace. Let's see if it will generate that. Although from the last generation, I'm not sure if it will. So it seemed to have just blurred my, uh, the area. Uh, oh well. If you, instead of tapping this AR button, tap on edit. And then the AR button. This will also bring you to the same screen. And we can also rotate and it will fill in the blanks. So we can use that as well. And so it's just added in detail. And so we'll just save a copy of that. And uh, we also have the drawing assist, though we've kind of seen that in the uh, note assist. You have AI wallpapers. So if we go to the uh, the wallpaper settings and we change a wallpaper, we can create new wallpapers with AI. Uh, so uh, these are completely unique wallpapers that are made. It uses a prompt here and you tap generate. So we'll tap generate and agree and it will create a wallpaper which is completely new, never seen before. And so we can set that one if we want. And then we have health assist. I can't show this, but it just uses AI to you know help with your health data. So that's the Galaxy AI. Leave a like, subscribe, bye bye.